Bartonella bacilliformis. It's an intracellular, pleomorphic, gram-negative bacterium that is a recognized causative organism of Arroyo fever, or carrions, and Veruga peruana. Bacilliformis is transmitted by the bite of the female sandfly of the genus Lutsamia. Carrion's disease is endemic to the Veruga zone, a region in the Andes Mountains of Peru, Colombia, and Ecuador, but new emerging areas have been described in these countries. Sporadic cases have been reported from Bolivia, Chile, and Guatemala. Pathogenesis Bacilliformis produces virulence factors, including adhesin, flagellin, and hemin. These virulence factors facilitate the organism's invasion of erythrocytes, causing intraerythrocytic replication and hemolysis, and replication within endothelial cells, promoting proliferation and angiogenesis. In the acute phase, the organism causes a substantial increase in interleukin-10 secretion by erythrocytes, which attenuates cytokine production and suppresses the function of certain immune cells, including T helper cells, macrophages, and dendritic cells. During the chronic form, there are high levels of interferon gamma and interleukin-4. In the chronic form of the disease, the bacterium invades endothelial cells, forms Rochelima inclusion bodies, and causes overproduction of epidermal growth factor, EGF. The abundant production of EGF stimulates endothelial proliferation and angiogenesis, producing hypervascular nodules. Similar events have been described in the setting of infection due to other Bartonella species that cause bacillary angiomatosis. Clinical manifestations as follows. Infection with Bartonella bacilliformis causes an acute febrile illness known as Arroyo fever and a secondary phase with chronic cutaneous manifestations known as Veruga peruana. Arroyo fever is seen in 11% of cases. Veruga peruana and a recent febrile illness suggestive of Arroyo fever is seen in 37% of cases. Veruga peruana without a recent febrile illness is seen in 32% of cases. Asymptomatic infection is seen in 21% of cases. Acute phase, Arroyo fever. The acute or hematic phase generally begins with insidious onset of mild fever, headache, anorexia, and malaise. The acute phase lasts two to four weeks and the majority of patients who receive treatment recover. Progression to the eruptive phase occurs after weeks or months in less than 5% of cases. In the absence of antimicrobial therapy, mortality can reach 90%. The diagnosis of Arroyo fever is established by blood culture or by identification of Bartonella bacilliformis organisms on a GM-sustained blood smear. Bacilliformis is fastidious and requires Columbia agar, an enriched blood medium for growth which occurs most readily at 25 to 28 degrees Celsius. Other Bartonella species grow readily at 37 degrees Celsius. Treatment of choice is ciprofloxacin for uncomplicated Arroyo fever in non-pregnant adult patients, and second-line treatment is chloramphenicol. For treatment of uncomplicated Arroyo fever in children and pregnant women, first line of treatment is amoxicillin clavulanic acid, and in severe cases, Treatment with ceftriaxone is preferred. Ciprofloxacin and chloramphenicol should be avoided in pregnancy. Eruptive phase, Veruga peruana. The eruptive or Veruga phase occurs after organisms invade capillary endothelial cells and induce cellular proliferation, producing hemangioma-like nodules in the skin and mucous membranes. Veruga peruana can appear two to eight weeks after the patient has apparently recovered from Arroyo fever. The diagnosis of Veruga peruana is generally based on characteristic clinical features with or without skin biopsy. Azithromycin for treatment of choice for Veruga peruana in adults, children, and pregnant women. Rifampin is an acceptable alternative agent for treatment of Veruga peruana.